Okay, let's get into it. This is a cocktail called the East India Cocktail. It's the old version. Earlier this week, let's call it Tuesday, I made it the way that I have always made it. Lots of pineapple juice, lots of maraschino liqueur, I, let's say a fair amount of brandy. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to rip anybody off. I'm giving you, I think, the right amount of brandy in that. But the real way that has made has somewhat, it's eluded me. I just really have, I don't know, dashes here and teaspoons there. Oh, I mean, come on. What are we doing? Well, there's a reason this is a very famous cocktail. It's been around since the 1800s. There's a reason that it is so good in its original way. What right do I have to come in and screw it up? So we are going to be making that cocktail. When we start to make this cocktail, I, you will see how very, very old and antiquated this cocktail seems. It's a lot of brandy and very few other ingredients. And even if even though there's only four other ingredients other than brandy, there's not a lot of that stuff in there. So you better find a good brandy. I'm going to show you how to make the Harry Johnson original pineapple gum inclusive East India cocktail. That's what we're doing. We are going to be making this uh, in a stirrer. Get your stirring vessel ready to go. This right here is maraschino liqueur. Put it right here. I promise it is. I know I just ran out of it, but I did find this teeny tiny little bottle of maraschino liqueur. We're putting in two dashes of maraschino liqueur. Stuff strong. Got a lot of feeling to it. We're going to go ahead and grab some Angostura bitters. And we're going to throw in two dashes of Angostura bitters. That was easy. That really worked. This, These little dashers that I complain about constantly worked very well. Well done, little dashers. Well done. The, the rest of these, teaspoons. We're going to be doing one teaspoon of curacao. This right here is Grand Gala. It's an orange liqueur. It is a brandied orange liqueur. It is most closely related to like Grand Marnier, much cheaper than Grand Marnier. And to be very honest, I like it equal. So save a couple bucks, a little Grand Gala in your stocking, and you should be just fine. We're grabbing our teaspoons, put in one teaspoon of some orange liqueur right here this is pineapple gum G it's either g-o-m-m-e or g-h-u-m or listen g-u-m if you're you know we want to cool kids you sit in the back of the bus you call it g-u-m we're gonna put in one teaspoon of some uh Try this again, can we? I just, I gotta get these darn shorts out. The only thing that's getting me any views is these darn shorts. Okay. Let's put in one teaspoon of pineapple gum syrup. I feel good about that. It's freaking delicious. Let me just say about the pineapple gum syrup. If you're thinking about making it, you can put pineapple juice into something or... You can experiment with this stuff and make instead pineapple gum syrup. Give that, put that in with some rum, just pineapple gum syrup, rum, and maybe just a little bit of lime. You'll have a big rounded out feeling like it's a, like it's a pineapple daiquiri, but with the smoothness of all of that gum around it. All good stuff. Next little bit. How about, why not? Huh? Why not? A little bit of yak, a little bit of cognac. This is our friend cognac. This is our friend Henny. It is a cognac coming out of France. It has to be made in a certain grape, certain region in France, which means normally that it's pretty well regulated and you're not going to get bad stuff coming out of there. So if you are worried about the quality of your brandy, I recommend just pay for the cognac. Cognac is going to be just fine. Put in Two ounces of cognac. And that, my friends, will do it for Hennessy. That is the final call for Hennessy. Final call for Hennessy. Grab a little ice back here. Drop some ice. Oh, that's never going to fit. Doesn't matter if I cut some ice real quick. Just a little chopper of the ice. Grabbing my big old Sharpie knife. The Japanese thing. And I cut it as I sing. Until it fits into my stirring cup. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, perfect. We now have cut enough ice. I'm 
give it a big old spin. Not the most elegant ice we've ever done. And since it is such a small, teeny cocktail, not a lot going in here, two ounces of cognac and then teaspoons of everything else, we're going to use our very good friend, the Nick and Nora glass. This is it. This cocktail is the East India cocktail the proper way, the way that our friend and greatest bartender name of all time, Harold Harry Johnson made his cocktail, the East India cocktail. I cannot say that I've ever had one of these. I read about this cocktail a long time ago and just went off on my own and made my version of it. This, the original, let's see how we do. What I'm going to be looking for in here, obviously, is my day-long project of making gum arabic syrup with pineapple. Was it a wasted day? But I have been, you know, what would I also like? Cheers. Oh, I smell a little pineapple in there. It's freaking delicious. The annoying part of it is that I know what gum syrup tastes like. I know what it's supposed to taste like. There's no way to describe what gum syrup tastes like without sounding very odd. But it's sound, it, it, it tastes like you are getting your whole mouth coated in a, like a wax. But like a very cold, but also melty wax. That's how gum syrup is supposed to sort of treat you. It almost makes you like, maybe like your tongue doesn't fit in your mouth for a second. That's what gum syrup does. That's what this cocktail does. Even with just a little bit of that gum arabic. I'm getting all of that gumminess. It's a very cool feeling. You'll know a you'll know a proper gum syrup from just some sugar syrup when you make it. It's awesome. Uh, and and with that coatiness, all that pineapple sticks around. It's a lot of mouth feel. The problem with gum syrup, it takes forever. Whether you're just putting it into a pan and stirring it's just it's so hard to get into your into your syrup if you have a sous vide this stuff is really easy to make i do recommend though trying to find a little bit of the gum arabic the craziest it's, it's just the craziest change in a cocktail to add some thickness and some real mouthfeel this is doing it I, i'm I feel bad. I should never have changed this cocktail. I still like mine, but I probably have to call it something else now. Delicious.